Good evening and welcome to our Wednesday evening devotion. Tonight's passage comes from 1 Peter 3, and we're going to just read two verses, verse 3 and verse 4, and it says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornments, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. So imagine standing in front of a mirror. What do you see? Often our focus is is on what we look like, societal standards of beauty. But tonight, we're going to explore a deeper reflection, one that shows us where true beauty lies, which is not in outward appearances, but in cultivating a gentle and quiet spirit, a beauty that shines from within and is cherished by God. We live in a world obsessed with external appearances. From magazines to social media, we're bombarded with with images of idealized beauty, photoshopped, filtered, often completely unattainable. When I was younger, I loved looking in magazines and looking at all the latest fashions and hairstyles. Clothing and fashion were a very important part of my life then. However, I never felt quite like I could keep up with what was expected of me. I was much slimmer in those days, but still, I was never thin enough to match the models in the magazines. I never beautiful enough for the actresses on television and their perfect makeup. And then, of course, there was the hair. My curly, unruly hair never kept up with the latest fashion trends. The fact that these images had been altered and filtered and they portrayed unrealistic and unattainable standards never occurred to me. And so I felt inadequate. And to put it mildly, I never felt good enough and I was constantly dissatisfied with my appearance. We are constantly bombarded with images of idealistic beauty in magazines, televisions, movies, and even on social media. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook amplify these pressures by showcasing edited and filtered photos. The constant comparison with influencers and celebrities creates a sense of pressure for us to look a certain way, to behave in a certain manner, to do certain things, to go certain places. And this emphasis leads to financial strain, stress, and a superficial pursuit of happiness. In stark contrast to these worldly values, Peter's message in our scripture tonight highlights that true beauty comes from within and not without. It's not about elaborate hairstyles, jewelry, or fine clothes. These external adornments are fleeting and temporary. As we age, physical beauty naturally fades, but inner beauty is lasting and meaningful. True beauty is the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. This inner beauty reflects our character, our values, and how we treat others, and it's what God values most. And this idea of God looking at the heart and not outward appearances is a consistent theme in the Bible. In 1 Samuel 16, verse 7, it says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at his heart. And then in Matthew 23, verse 27 to 28, it says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, You hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. And Jesus was criticizing the Pharisees for their focus on outward appearance while neglecting their inner righteousness. And similar to how in 1 Peter 3, Peter advises believers to focus on inner beauty rather than external adornments. 
And so Peter says we need to have a gentle and quiet spirit. So let's look at what that means. So gentleness involves kindness, humility, having a thoughtful nature. A gentle person treats others with care and respect, creating a positive impact in their, in, in their interactions. And having a quiet spirit refers to a peaceful, composed nature. A quiet spirit maintains calmness and self-control, fostering an atmosphere of peace and s stability. And so let look, let's look at some examples of women in the Bible who exemplify this gentle and quiet spirit. And the first one I, we're going to look at is Ruth. Ruth demonstrated loyalty and a gentle spirit through her devotion to Naomi. Her famous words to Naomi are a statement to her gentle and steadfast nature. In Ruth 1 verse 16 and 17 it says, But Ruth replied, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. Ruth's dedication and her gentle actions eventually led to her being the great-grandmother of King David, demonstrating how her quiet spirit and her loyalty were blessed. And then we have Queen Esther. Queen Esther is another example of gentle and courageous woman. She displayed wisdom, humility and bravery in saving her people from destruction. Her gentle spirit is evident in her approach to the king and in her strategic patience. In Esther 4 verse 16 it says, Go, gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days. Night or day, I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Despite great risk to herself, Esther approached the king with humility and grace, which ultimately led to the deliverance of the Jewish people. And then we have Mary, the mother of Jesus. She's a prime example of a gentle and quiet spirit. She accepted God's plan for her life with humility and obedience, even though it meant facing potential social stigma and personal challenges for her. In Luke 1 verse 38 it says, I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Mary's gentle spirit is further evident in her reflective nature as she treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart. And this is in Luke 2 verse 19. These women and others like Hannah, the mother of Samuel, whose gentle and quiet spirit was evident in her prayers for a son, and Mary, the sister of Martha and Lazarus, showed her gentle and quiet spirit in her devotion to her Lord, sitting by his feet to listen to his teachings. All these women and many others in the Bible exemplify the qualities of gentleness and a quiet spirit through their actions, their faith and their dedication to their Lord, making them enduring examples of these virtues in the Bible. And so, how would inner beauty um, impact on our relationships, our character, and our spiritual growth? So inner beauty, characterized by qualities like kindness, humility, integrity, compassion, they have profound impacts on not only our relationships and our character, but also our spiritual growth. In our relationships, inner beauty fosters trust, respect, genuine connections and relationships with people. It strengthens our relationships through empathy and understanding, creating lasting, trusting bonds. Our character is developed through inner beauty, building emotional strength and resilience. It helps us to navigate challenges with a more positive outlook. 
And in our spiritual growth, cultivating inner beauty deepens our spiritual journey. It aligns us with God's values. It promotes peace and motivates us to serve others, reflecting our faith. So how do we do this? How do we cultivate a gentle and quiet spirit? It involves intentional practices that foster inner peace, tranquility, and humility. So here are some practical tips for us to nurture these qualities in our lives. Firstly, start with morning devotion. Begin each day with prayer and scripture and set a peaceful tone for the day and for your life. Secondly, have a kindness routine. Perform daily acts of kindness to nurture gentleness. Be kind and gentle with the words that we speak to others. And thirdly, a weekly reflection. Reflect on our actions and your actions and growth each week to cultivate a gentle and quiet spirit. In conclusion, I want to end with a story. It's called The Garden of Quiet Beauty. In a bustling city filled with noise and chaos, there was a hidden garden known only by a few. This garden was a sanctuary of peace, filled with flowers of every color and trees that whispered in the breeze. It was tended by an elderly lady named Grace, who was known for her gentle and quiet spirit. One day, a young woman named Lily, weary from the pressures of life and the relentless pursuit of external beauty, stumbled upon the garden. Drawn by its tranquility, she entered and found Grace tending to the plants. Grace greeted her with a warm smile and invited her to sit with her among the flowers. As they sat, Lily poured out her heart, sharing her struggles with self-worth and the overwhelming need to conform to society's standards of beauty. Grace listened patiently, her gentle presence offering comfort and understanding. After a while, Grace spoke up. Lily, do you see these flowers? Each one is unique and none of them strive to be like the others. They simply grow where they are planted, blooming in their own time. Their beauty comes not from striving, but from simply being what they were created to be. She continued, a gentle and quiet spirit is like this garden. It doesn't demand attention or validation from the outside world. Instead, it finds its strength and beauty in peace, patience, and humility. This kind of beauty is cultivated from within and reflects a deep connection with the Creator. Grace then shared a verse from the Bible, 1 Peter 3, verse 3 to 4. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Lily sat in silence, reflecting on Grace's words. She realized that true beauty wasn't about conforming to external standards, but about cultivating a heart of gentleness and peace. It was about finding contentment in who she was created to be, knowing that her worth was found in God's eyes. As she left the garden, Lily felt a renewed sense of purpose. She decided to focus on developing her inner self, seeking a gentle and quiet spirit that would reflect the beauty of her creator. In that hidden garden, she found not only peace, but her true identity in Christ. Remember, you are God's masterpiece, created by him to do good works. Our worth is not defined by external standards, but by our identity in him. Let us embrace and cultivate the inner beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, reflecting the love and grace of our Creator. Amen. Shall we just close in prayer? Heavenly Father, help us to seek the unfading beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit. Teach us, Lord, to look beyond outward appearances and to value what truly 
matters, our inner character and our relationship with you. Guide us as we cultivate this inner beauty in our lives and help us, Lord, to reflect your love and your grace to others. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. And there will be another devotion next week, Wednesday, so be sure to join us again. Good evening. <laughs>